integration in this mod is really big. Like I like we saw, literally, uh, pulverizer is um, gonna be a uh, a tier two because I don't know if he just thinks that um, a pulverizer is better than a macerator. Um, I would say it is, like I said, in the moment, but not later on in the future. Um, but, you know, everybody has their different opinions, but apparently his opinion matters most. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, what we're want to do is cr grab some of these little white flowers, mystical white flowers. And I think we need four petals. We'll find out pretty quick. And uh, I'll show you guys what this, I think it's a pure daisy does. One, two, three, four. Just give it a second. Did I tell you you could come out here and ruin my let's play? Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Ow. And now he's dead. Okay. Well. Do we need to right click? Uh, let's check our lex or lexitan lexi lexi botania whatever it is. Um, generating flora. Introduction. Do 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 do. Um, nope, nope. Basics and mechanics. Pure Daisy. Here we go. Pure Daisy is not only the main basic. Yada yada yada. How do we make it? Four petals into. A apothecary. Oops. I want to go back. Do, 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 do. That's it? Well, that's what we got. Hmm. Well, I've got the four petals. Oh, you need seeds. That's right. Ha ha. There we go. So, pure daisy. Pretty cool stuff that it does. Um, what I want to do right now to sort of test it, this isn't the greatest way to do it, just because I don't have it surrounded, but it'll do the trick. We're going to place this right here, and what this is going to do is it's actually going to turn all these wood blocks that are adjacent to it into living wood. And living wood is one of the crafting um, basics of this mod for Botania. So if you look at, at mod.botania... And we look at living wood, show you what it makes. Most important to me, oops, I passed it. Shaped crafting, the mana spreader. So the mana spreader is going to be important to transfer mana from like a day bloom or really any flower that creates mana into a mana pool. Um, very, very important uh, to make a lot of these actually. So you're going to need those pure daisies. In saying this, what I want to really emphasize with a lot of this uh, Batania stuff is originally it was made just to sort of make a pretty garden that's actually useful. Um, so you need to keep that in mind when you're working with it that the point of making these gardens isn't to just have uh, spam a bunch of flowers and create a lot of mana and then use it. It's more to make a pretty um, aesthetically pleasing garden that's useful. So these things will turn pretty quickly here soon. But, uh, whoa. I didn't know it was going to be that quick. Bam. There we go. We got our living wood. Uh, I'm not actually going to um, worry too much about um, taking out the wood right now. That's sort of like a next episode type thing. Uh, but what I want to work on now, I'd like to see. Do we have a chicken nearby? Yes, we do. We have chickens over there. Uh, this sword, I gotta tell you guys, this sword is freaking awesome. I didn't know they had angry zombies in here. I mean, I guess they're Thomcraft, but I think Dire Wolf somehow doesn't have them in there. Maybe he does. Okay, um, where'd the chickens go? Don't. Don't. There they are. They're still up here, next to a creeper. Yeah. Okay. Did we get 
Yes, we got a flower. Or, I mean, feather. What in the world? What? <laughs> Jeez. Redstoner's hat. Yeah. Right. That's funny. Alright, let's see if we can find a squid. Because I'd like to get into a little bit of Thomcraft today. Not too heavy. Um, but just make a research table. Uh, I did an episode with Dire Wolf. Or, not with. Yeah, I wish with Dire Wolf. Um, I did an episode on the Dire Wolf pack. And I kind of explained the basics of researching. But um, one guy that is on the server, T-Mick. He actually does, um, on his channel, Galmore Games. He has a really good researching i think it's outdated now but not by much just recipes are different how can i not find a squid see this is why i didn't want to do this on this episode because oh right in front of us uh it's one of the more tedious things Ooh, right there that is helpful you know you people with creepers as hats i don't like it not fair. Come on, give me what I need. Thank you. Alright, let's head back, get this uh, over with and done. Um, I did find out, just so you guys know, Hunger Overhaul isn't in here. It is uh, Pam's cooking thingy mabob or whatever. Uh, and I also didn't explain, you know how big our garden is down there? Well, um, what I wanted to do is use that garden to actually um, collect every single type of uh, crop in the game. So at some point we'll have to uh, start looking for the crops we're missing. Okay. So we got our feather and quill. I believe we need glass to make a and clay to make a file 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 glass file there we go yep um, but before we do that I actually want to go ahead and make the thermometer and I'm gonna show you guys what this is to get you started with thomcraft um, I don't think there's much that we can research it there we go so this um is going to be really important in the research table if you guys are playing sort of along with me um what you want to do is don't worry about it, anything else for the moment um with thomcraft besides a wand and a research table but just go around and um research different things that if you can uh, you might not be able to re research a grass block but you can still research dirt and um Later on in the research table, you can find more out by just playing around with uh, different recipes. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that in a second. But let's get some clay. Let's get a, vi a file, whatever crazy cockamamie way you say that is. And um, let's get some thomcraft done. And I'll show you guys how to create the research table. Now that our inventory is full, that's gonna happen a lot, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I need glass. You know what? This is what we're gonna do, guys. I know you hate it. I know you don't like how disorganized I am. But actually, I'm pretty organized considering because if you look downstairs, that chest was the only chest that I had that was a disorganized chest, if you remember back in the video. so. Just throwing that out there. Okay, so we use that, and we also need the feather, which we just put in our chest. Okay. We're smart. That, and that, and scribing tools. Now, we need a table. And not this type of table. We need a thumbcraft table. Which, of course, is at the bottom. There we go. Table. So that's really, really easy to make. If you have problems making it, you're probably not that smart. Uh, because it's like a vanilla shaped recipe. So, yeah. Fast leaves. Bam. Look at that. Uh, maybe it wasn't that fast because of this tree, I think. Yeah, it's really helpful, guys. I That's one of my favorite mods now. Is the... Um, 
fast leaves or whatever it's called. Uh, okay. Let's build. We need two of these. And do 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 do. So you remember how we right clicked with our wand on the uh, crucible or the cauldron to make the crucible? Well, and uh, I'm gonna move this, so don't worry. But I just want to show you guys how to make it. What we got to do is with our scribing tools, right click and bam, research table. Now you see we get all these basic sort of um, little attributes and uh, then you can mix and match like for instance I happen to know that earth and water and this is a free one makes victus which is life uh, let me see if I can figure out something else water or er, fire and order makes potentia which is energy and I won't show you anymore. I'll let you guys kind of explore that um, or watch T-Mix videos to kind of figure that out. But yeah, if you just use a little bit of logic in your brain, um, you'll be able to kind of figure out a few things uh, if you're smart in that arena. I have memorized it. I'm not smart in that arena. Uh, so yeah, that's sort of the basics mo of the mods that we're going to start off with. Um, for those of you that don't know, and I'm going to list them off right now, the the ones that we're going to um, explore fully, and uh, these are basically all the mods in the game that we have to, uh, with the exception of a few that aren't necessarily... Um, a tiered mod they're just sort of in there they're useful things that we're gonna end up using uh, no matter what why do I only have a lumber axe where's my actual axe we'll have to make one because I want to get the rest of that wood um, so these are the ones that we're gonna really focus on right now uh, you'll notice applied energistics isn't in there and the reason for that is because applied energistics we can't just jump right into that that's something that's gonna be uh, take us a little while to kind of figure out so um, what we're gonna go into is we're gonna do blood magic uh, for a second I totally forgot how to build an axe that's crazy uh, we're gonna do blood magic botania bees uh, also Benny's mod but right now we're gonna use bees uh, big reactors rail craft soul shards harvest craft uh, which is all those fruits and veggies um, Thumbcraft, Thermal Expansion, IC2, Minecraft, Factory Reloaded, and Ender IO. Ender IO is something that we've got to learn because that stuff is super, super useful. And I can't wait to delve into that. So this is kind of an introductory into a lot of the different mods that we're going to uh, get involved in. And um, of course there's going to be a ton more that we get involved in so stay tuned I hope you guys are enjoying I really 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 could use some feedback so if you're sitting there going I don't know if I really liked this or um, dude this is great please keep doing it uh, feedback would be so very much appreciated you have no idea um, so please 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 if you feel one way or the other give me feedback give me suggestions of things I can do um, and I would love any help that anybody wants to give for specific mods that I'm already doing. Uh, and I'll, of course, make sure that you guys get a shout out in the video if you help me out. So that's going to do it for today's episode, you guys. And until next time, happy mining and crafting.